from cast powered by radio frequencies to cast being powered by running water this rookie engineers from africa defy the laws of physics however don't forget this is africa africa's first solar powered bus does not even need a drop of fuel it's powered entirely by the sun and let's face it when you've got a vehicle that's basically sunbathing its way across the country how do you even compete and uh, i believe that uh, whatever that is being built and designed out of problems tends to even be more stronger because uh, it will withstand almost all the challenges this guy has managed to skip the gas station like a child avoiding homework i developed so much passion in the renewable energy sector where it always conflicts with my education so i decided to drop out of the school and focus more on the renewable energy business that i'm doing now we can no longer afford to wait for the future and then we say oh okay now everyone else is producing electric cars let's also jump on board and produce we have to start now so that by that time we are also playing in the same field as the world however if you are asking what happens on a cloudy day don't sweat because the bus can also store energy that can be used for two days we have built uh, a 12 seater bus which uh, can cover a distance of up to uh, 200 kilometers on on one hour mustafa's bus isn't about to stop because of some gloomy weather proving that sometimes solar power has all the backup you need now while most electric vehicles look sleek and futuristic kipanya's creation has a face i think every artist is an engineer whether knowingly or unknowingly but still considering that he comes from tanzania it's not bad the car cost him 32000 dollars to make it how are you going to survive if you depend on importing everything from outside so let's start making our own things you understand As he rolls through the streets, you can bet on Lucas are doing double takes, probably thinking it's a toy car or something. But hey, while you're stuck in gas station lines, our engineer is just passing by with his ride, thinking how people that pay for gas are brainless. Although the car seems comical, it is still electrifying. Forget everything you know about electric vehicles. Well, this car runs on radio frequency. Yep, you heard that right. Well, most cars need fuel or power outlet. This bad boy just needs a good radio signal to keep rolling. At the power train we did it in house uh, which makes it the fair the first electric vehicle in the world that drives without needing recharging systems. It's very unique for the first time. Uh, energy is being generated uh, using a radio frequency and without moving paths this machine clearly violates the laws of physics it's like being the coolest kid in school who shows up in a shiny new ride while others are stuck on public transport well welcome to africa but as you are aware that um, in patents anything that violates the laws of physics is not an industrial applicable solution they classify it as a perpetual motion device however i'm still wondering where the radio waves come from how it's amplified a hundred times and not energizes the source because this seems impossible chikumbutso is not the typical scientist he dropped out of school aged 14 and just when you thought it couldn't get better maxwell claims divine manifestation fuel is genius Maybe God really does have a playlist. So next time you hear someone worrying about charging their electric car, just say, "I'll just be fine thanks to the radio waves." Let's so put the power power point so that people when they get home, they just power their houses when they're driving to camps, they will have their own energy instead of carrying around the generator or something like that, you put your moving generator. Remember Mr. Bean's car? Imagine it's smaller than that. This Bako car from Tunisia 
is the automotive equivalent of a shoebox on wheels. This vehicle stretches 2.7 meters long, like you can pack it in your living room, making it perfect for those who think parking is a sport. With a top speed of 30 km per hour, it's less like driving and more like a leisure stroll. Except a tortoise might still give you a run for your money. The car probably cost $40 or something. It's cool though, because you can fit it in the bag when it's time to run. Our next genius, Munei, has somehow built a car that runs on water. Yes, water. Forget the charging stations. This car transforms water into electricity. Yeah. Which is basically like turning your morning coffee into rocket fuel. Picture this. While you are sweating over a gas pump, Munei refills his car up with a garden hose. What happens if it rains? Does he just drive through the puddles to recharge? This genius might have just cracked the code for eco-friendly vehicles or accidentally invented the world's first amphibious vehicle. The car looks like it's still figuring out its life choices with its awkward angles and all. Who needs gas guzzlers when you can just splash and dash? Even so, it's clear that the innovation here is as comical as the continent itself. Who knows what they'll come up next with? Maybe a vehicle powered by laughter? Until then, keep your eyes peeled and your fuel gauge empty because Africa is just getting started.